So, another update. What can I tell you? Well, basically, I can tell you that I should have flown out to San Francisco yesterday, but um, I've had uh, a bit of a spasm in my neck. So, this is something new, more ailments. I'm afraid I'm getting a bit too old for this game, I think. So, I'm on various painkillers, these and these. Uh, I'm also on a bit of muscle relaxants overnight. Um, and I'm on antibiotics because my elbow has got infected. I don't know how, um, but for some reason it's gone very, very hot, very swollen. Um, and I don't know what that's from. Maybe a thorn or something along those lines. And it's it's typical. Um, it was really weird going to the doctor and saying, you know, uh, having a role reversal. And he'd say, well, what happened? And I couldn't tell him really. And that reminded me so much of when we look at... Um, dogs and cats that come in and, and you know, with swollen joints and, and puffy sort of limbs and this sort of thing, you say, well, what happened? And the, the owner has no idea and, uh, and the animal certainly can't tell you. So I thought that was a bit uh, a bit unusual. Um, as an update on useless, let me just go and get her. Come here, Petal. Come on. Yes. Oh. I've had quite a few... Um, Quite a few emails and comments and, and things like that um, via the feedback form uh, just to say uh, what people uh, were feeling about um, my, about Useless's condition uh, and how sorry they were that she was not uh, feeling too great. But she has made quite a, an improvement. She's, she's breathing a lot better. She herself is on uh, aspirin every three days. Uh, she's on some Fruzmide, which is a diuretic to take the, the fluid off her chest. Uh, and she's also on some heart medication uh, every day as well. Um, couple that with her known sort of diabetic problem as well. She's on injections twice a day and you're doing very well. She's out in the sunshine. She's enjoying the, uh, the weather as it is. And she's a lot more active now that uh, her breathing is, uh, is a little bit better and her heart isn't having to work as hard. Um, she's obviously a geriatric. She's now 14 years old, um, and, uh, and I'm afraid that you know she won't last forever. But at the moment, the most important thing is that she's happy and that she's comfortable. And uh, I think you are at the moment, aren't you? People often say to me, you know, how do you know? You know, when when you've got an elderly animal, how do you know when the time is right to you know to say goodbye? And you just know. And she's a long way off that at the moment. Thankfully, she's she's uh, she's bounced back. She's enjoying her food. She's enjoying the activity of you know going outside. Um, so hopefully, hopefully you've still got a couple of years left in you. As long as your ticker keeps going, I'll just make that. Yeah, agreed. Yeah, I think you're good. Say goodbye. I haven't talked to Speed yet. Crack that by the next podcast, eh? <laughs> she likes the mouse, though. There we go. Till next time.